hey Xander! Today is Tuesday and it is my last Tuesday in the French Immersion Program before I come home. So I'm super excited! Anyways, I thought I would do a book review on Echoes by Melinda Metz today. I read this book approximately four weeks ago. I think it was, it was three or four weeks ago. And I really liked it, and I really wanted to do a book review on it, but I didn't want to do it right then, so I'm going to do it today. It's called Echoes by Melinda Metz, and it's about a girl named Ray Volt. This is Ray Volt, and a boy named Anthony Bassinelli. And don't know what he looks like, there's no picture of him anywhere, so just use your imagination what a guy named Anthony would look like. Anyways, to give you an idea of what it's about without giving away too much. It's about this girl, Ray, who one day at her private high school begins to hear voices in her head. And like anyone that hear voices, hears voices in their head, she thinks she's going crazy. Her mother, before her, like when she was born, she passed away in a mental asylum, so she thinks she's becoming like her mother. Anyways, she goes through, like, she's like, okay, just stay calm, it's a normal day, everything will be okay. So she goes to the cafeteria with her best friend, Leah, and at some point during the meal, like, she keeps hearing these voices, and one of them says something, like, about their mom, and it's not about her mom, it's about, like, a different person's mom, and she, like, has this whole freak out, like, stop talking about my mom, blah 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 and so like she completely mental breakdown I guess and then over the summer she spends her time in a mental institution when she comes back she has to go to a group therapy three times a week it meets three times a week and she meets this guy named Anthony there and they become friends not right away but like a little bit later on in the story and everyone at her school starts to teach her like a freak because of the mental breakdown from the last semester. And so she's kind of like, oh my gosh, I really wish everyone would stop that. And she's still hearing the voices, even though like she just spent that summer trying to get rid of them. Anyways, this book, I really liked it. I really like the writing style that Metz uses. It's very like simplistic and like easy to understand. You're not going for a dictionary every five seconds. It's like words that are like basic. It's written, it's a teen book, so it's probably written for like 14 to 16 year olds. I don't know, but like I really enjoyed it. Another writing part I like is how she'll switch from Ray's kind it's kind of like it's Ray's perspective, but it's not really like from Ray's like first person. It's like a third person perspective of what Ray is doing to like a third person perspective of what Anthony is doing. So like it'll switch like whose day we're looking at type thing. And I really thought that was really good because then you're like understanding like both sides of the story. Another thing about the writing is when Ray has a thought, it'll it'll go from this normal like text to this, which is like I italicized and a different font, and there's like a slash, so like you know that's happening in her head, and it's not like what she's thinking. It's what someone else supposedly someone else is thinking and somehow it's transmitted to her. We don't know how yet. I finished this book in about probably a week because I'm a slow reader and it takes me a while to finish. Right now I'm rereading and I'm already I'm almost on the first part. I haven't finished it yet because I was really busy over the last couple days but I think I'll be able to finish it before the end of the week which is awesome because I really like this book and I really want to finish reading it again. 
I didn't so much like the ending, like the very end, at the end of the three books. It was kind of open-ended and like she's saying, here, you can like think of something, some other way to end the book, but like I don't really like to do that as much as like if she like told us it would have been cool, but she did not, so I kind of wanted to write another book just so it's like this is how this is supposed to end and that would be sweet because there's so many questions that she left unanswered but it was a very interesting read like very terrific read I really liked it so if you're looking for like a simple read short simple well maybe not short but easy read Read Echoes by Melinda Metz. I would recommend it. Alright, see you Friday, Xander.